bedtime is the safest, coziest, warmest time of all. Hi, I am Noel McNeil. I am a puppeteer. Yes, it's a weird word. This happened back in uh, 1997. So I actually went in that morning to audition for another character for a game show that they were trying to develop. I got a call from Henson saying, please come back, because we want you to audition for this other character. I went in and I put on what's called the helix. It's like the understructure with the, the hoop rings and the, and the netting and this foam head. And then I realized, wait a minute, it is quarter to five. This is a courtesy. You're not gonna get this. So I just said, eh, forget it. You know what, I'm just gonna have fun. Come Monday around six o'clock, just shy of six o'clock, that's when I got the call saying, no, like you got the part. And I was like, well, it's like, yep. Yeah. So that's how it happened. When you're inside, you put your right arm up through the neck and into the head. And you put your hand inside the mouth so that the lower thumb is, is his lower jaw. And this is up here. And there was like a little trigger for me to do his eyebrows. Then my left hand was in his left arm and there was a tiny little string, a monofilament, that went up to a little ring in his neck and came down the other side to the right hand, which was stuffed. So whenever I moved this hand, this one would move automatically, especially when he was, he was dancing. People asked, how hot was it inside? And I put it in a little like thermometer one time. So it got up to like about like 92 degrees, but it's a dry heat. And for the season, especially the first season, they would crank up the air conditioning in the studio. So it would be freezing and people would always complain about it, but it had to like, you know, offset the fact that the guy in the bear suit might pass out. So they just cranked up the air conditioning. Hmm? <gasps> it's you! Ooh. Mitchell Kriegman, who created the show, just had it so that Bear would just like sniff the camera. I came up with him really jamming it in and pulling it back out, which kids always reacted to. In fact, one um, message I got was from uh, the mom of a kid who was uh, severely handicapped and had not really responded even by the age of two. And she was watching the show. And as soon as Bear like jammed his nose in the camera to sniff, that's when she jumped back. And it was the first time she actually reacted to the outside world and they were thrilled beyond measure. So yeah, like sniffing can benefit the world. <laughs> I've been getting lots of uh, fan email from the parents and from the kids of autism and special needs who've grown up with Bear and how they said it's still comforting for them. And I realized today there's no show like that where it's just sincere, it's just gentle, and it's just as comforting as, as Bear was. It's not too loud, it's not in your face. Well, except when he sniffs the camera. So then I've been trying to develop my show called The Show Me Show for kids with autism and special needs to kind of fill that niche. Because I know for a fact that the networks, the kid networks right now aren't gonna do that, so.